I'm Riley Teeter, and I want to talk to you about a question that we commonly get about inversion, and that's simply about the benefits. How soon before I receive them, how far back do I have to go, and how frequently do I need to use the table? So the first one is, how soon before I can expect to feel a difference? And that's a pretty broad question because it really depends on what condition you have, where you're at in that condition. So a lot of people will say, and if you're reading the reviews, that they felt an immediate difference the first time they got on the table. But other people, it'll take 30 days. I mean, think about it. When you start eating healthy or start exercising, it takes time sometimes to feel the big change. But when you stick with it, you eventually reach a point where you go, ah, there it is. So I, I encourage you, stick with it, give it at least 30 days. Now that leads into our other question. How often do I need to use the table? So this is a maintenance program, just like brushing your teeth or anything else that you're doing to maintain a healthy body. It's regular consistency. Commit to it. Try and use it at least once a day. If you have something more significant like sciatica or herniated disc, use it more frequently. You only have to use it for about three to five minutes, but it's the frequency. And that's because our body is constantly under pressure, no matter the activity you're doing. In fact, even laying down, there's the equivalent of 25% standing body pressure in the spine because of the muscles and ligaments that are holding you in back front compression. So think about it. If you give your back the opportunity to take the pressure completely off, get the pressure to zero, those discs can hydrate in just three to five minutes. We're simply allowing the body to help itself. You're getting the nutrition that the discs don't normally see until sometime in the middle of your sleep cycle. So getting that pressure off is key frequently throughout the day. And the other one is how far back do I need to go? So the benefits begin at a pretty shallow angle, about 20 degrees you start to get decompression. But I do want you to work up to the angle of the rear legs and you know you're there because you can grab this bump out. And this allows you to kind of pull down and add some more traction. Now, what if you're not ready to go back that far, but you do want more decompression? If you have the traction handles, you can reach up and push. And this adds more decompression without having to go back further into inversion. Now, when I say if you're not ready to go back that far, what does that mean? Well, when you get a table, we're doing some training. Of course, this is the quiet side of fitness. You aren't having to train in the typical way like if you were to start a marathon. Um, you are, however, training the baroreceptors in your neck to control blood flow so that that pressure that you might feel in your head the first couple times will decrease over time. We're training the inner ear so that you're spatially aware at any angle of inversion. I gotta tell you, this is gonna sort of ruin those roller coaster rides for you. Um, but this training is important but also training the spine. Because if your spine has gotten into some common postures of slouch sitting or any misalignment, as we realign, we're engaging muscles that have been dormant and that can cause soreness. So take your time as you get the table, working up to greater angles of inversion. Um, but know that this is something that really can make a difference in your life read the reviews, learn about how this can make a difference, and give it a try. Remember, at Teeter, we've got your back.